hello there. So I am really, really excited for today's video because this is an art box that I've waited for all year. This comes out once a year and it is filled with three and a half pounds of art supplies for the 2019 Inktober. This box was $90 which is a lot of money. So I am really excited to open up and show you what's inside because I don't have a clue what's in here. And I'm gonna do a drawing today and I'm also going to be doing my best to try and do Inktober as many days as wait, I possibly wait, 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 can wait, 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 this wait, sorry, year. One second. So it's that time of year again where you convince yourself you're gonna do it every day and then you just give up on day three. Maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Good luck, good luck. You're gonna need it. October is usually a really busy month for me, especially with YouTube, and I also have family coming to visit this year, so it's going to be tough, but if you would like to see me attempt it every day and then do a video at the end of this month to tell you how I did, give this video a like, and if it gets to like 10,000 likes, I will do a video every single day in October at some point explaining how I did that day, okay? So if you'd like to see that, give the video a like. So as normal Chloe fashion, I do not have a pair of scissors, so I've broken my pencil, great. So this is an official Inktober box made by Art Snacks, um, and I have never opened one before, so I don't really know what to expect, but I'm really excited to see what's inside. So is my floor, apparently. If we could uh, open this up today, that would be great. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so inside, we've got the black paper for the ink. Oh, it's so beautiful. So this little note says, hi, here we are embarking upon another Inktober journey. I've been doing the challenge for 10 years and it amazes me how Inktober consistently pushes me to the edge of my abilities every single year. I want to share something with you that I continually need to remind myself to obey as I do the challenge. Finished not perfect. Your drawing doesn't have to be beautiful or inspired or creative, it just has to exist. Every time you finish a drawing, you not only learn something about your art, but that sense of accomplishment gives you a small high that carries you through the next drawing. At the end of the month, you want to look back and see 31 drawings, not 31 sheets of empty paper. Well, I feel bad about myself now. And that's it. Just keep in mind, as you sit down to draw, remember that whether this is your first Inktober or your 10th, this challenge doesn't get any easier. Inktober confronts your insecurities and creative blocks. It asks who you are as an artist and invites you to rise above the level you're working at now. And that's what I want for you. By the end of the month, I hope you have leveled up and are a better artist than when you started. Have a great Inktober, Jake Parker. Jake Parker is so nice. He told me once that he liked my videos and I pretty much just fully fangirled completely so so here we have a prompt list um these are the official prompts for inktober you don't have to follow these if you don't want to i am going to follow these purely because i want to but don't feel that you need to on the other side we have a list of all of the art supplies but i'm not going to read them just yet because i want it to be a surprise so we've got an arnhem premium cotton paper which is good for printmaking, drawing lettering and whatever that last word is painting there we go, I tried to read backwards, couldn't do it. I've never had paper that felt like this before. It's hard to describe. It's kind of a thicker mixed media style paper. The Arnhem paper retails for $25.99 and is made by a historic paper mill in Holland. It's cotton rag with soft vellum finish. It's also highly absorbent, so it can handle multiple layers of ink. So that's exciting. So if you don't want to stick to the book, you can use the paper like this. We have an Airheads cherry. Let's, let's do the, uh, the beauty guru thing. Do you see, is this is... It's red, shiny, metallic, red with a balloon with a smiling face on it. Can you, can you see? I've dropped it on the floor, brilliant, okay. So we have dual tip brush pens. There's 24 in here, I've not heard of this before. Creative, versatile, vibrant and durable, best described king art dual tip brush pens. Create broad strokes, fine lines and everything in between. Um, so it's a basically a brush pen. They are acid free, non-toxic non and odorless. So these are water-based pens, so you can create a watercolour effect. Basically, Copics are alcohol-based, so you can use a variety of different markers, and usually people prefer alcohol markers unless they're trying to create like a watercolour type effect. Oh, we have an ink tote! Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into stickers because I'm doing that typical YouTube thing where I stick all of my stickers on the back of my MacBook. I can't, I can't unstick the back with these nails. How do you do it, people? Very happy with that. Next up, a Plumchester square sketchbook. I am loving square sketchbooks. This is a Plumchester 
square sketchbook. I have not used one of these before. I'm curious how they compare to like the ELO sketchbooks. Uh, I really do like square sketchbooks. I think they're a lot of fun to use because they're just a different, different shape to the normal sketchbook. So it's just, I'm excited. I'm excited. So this Plumchester square sketchbook is actually limited edition and apparently it retails for $22. Um, and apparently it has a vegan leather cover with 48 pure white pages for Inky Creations to flourish. We've got some jelly rolls. I'm not surprised whatsoever that we've got some jelly rolls in here. The white jelly roll pens retail for $4.47. These are some of the most popular ones in the art community. I personally prefer the Unibal ones. I think they're a little bit better, but maybe I've just had bad experience with jelly, jelly rolls before, but these retail for $4.47. We're getting empty now, but we have... A... I... What is going on today? I don't even... I think it's top heavy, that's why. So we have some black ink by Speedball, which I have never heard of before, but we're gonna have a look. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see, focus, there we go. No, it's not, focus, focus, there, if you can see, there you go. Such a beauty guru right now. Then we've got the ink, which is $6.12. This is made from 100% carbon black pigment. And last but not least, we have two what look like fine liners or pen things. Let's see. Oh, ooh, this is fancy. Look how fancy this is. It's a nice marbled effect. Oh, I'm gonna drop that too. It matches my nails. How does that work? Did I do that right? Right, don't sit on this. It's very sharp. I love how on the paper it says warning. Pen nibs are sharp. Please be careful when handling your new nib. Um, again, don't sit on that, because that would be very uncomfortable. This, this retails for $6.03. And then last but not least, we have a Copic drawing pen. Do you say Copic or do you say Copic? Copic, because Copic sounds better to me, but I think a lot of people say Copic or Carpic. Carpic? Copic. Carpic? Copic? Copic. Copic. Copic, Copic. I don't know. But we have a drawing pen by Copic. Copic! I mean, no, Co Copic. Is this like a fountain pen? I've had this one before and it was dried out, so hopefully this one doesn't do that. Um, but we shall see, we shall see. The Copic drawing pen is a $5.95 retail value with the feeling of a traditional fountain pen without the inky mess. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, this, I was just going to say that I'm going to be taking Jake Parker's ink class because I know nothing about ink. This actually includes his ink class for free, which retails for $25. That was so nice. So I'm going to stick with the art supplies in this Inktober box throughout the entirety of Inktober um, because it has everything I need. I'm very excited for it. Um, so I'm really impressed. 100% going to get this again next year. And yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sit, take Jake's class, and then what you're going to see next is me actually drawing my first Inktober drawing. So I hope you enjoy. So if you didn't know, for some reason, bears are my favourite. I absolutely love painting and drawing them. So it pretty much seemed only fitting to me to theme my entire Inktober around them. Um, I'd like to think that I can complete Inktober and make prints of every piece I make. But, uh... <clears throat> no promises there. The first prompt for Inktober, as you can see, is ring. So kind of like a ringing phone, but then I realized a bear holding a phone would be stupid and not believable. So I thought an inflatable ring. Having a bear floating in a swimming pool ring would definitely be more believable. I then decided to just like have an inflatable ring randomly floating down a river to the bear. So I initially drew out some little thumbnails and wanted to experiment a bit with the ink. Um, pro tip, don't trust me with ink and don't open the ink above your art. Why? That's why. So that's great. Once I'd had enough of staring at the mess I'd made on the paper, I then decided to open up the sketchbook. And what was I met with? Possibly the coolest emblem on the front. The paper inside was kind of thick, but not overly thick. If I didn't know any better, I really wouldn't think that this could actually handle ink, but clearly it can, since it's literally made for that purpose. Don't judge a book by its pages. Judge it by its cover. 
in this case. So I was watching Jake's class while doing this and I got really inspired and started doing some cross hatching and short hatching and some other hatching line hatching things that I've forgotten the name of. Very therapeutic. Uh, I quickly doodled out the bear again since I'm completely useless when it comes to ink and line work and that's literally the only reason why I get put off Inktober each year since I only ever seem to pick up ink during that time of year so I never improve at it. But I am determined this year to complete as much as I can whether it's terrible or not. Um, I also really want to make some limited ed edition prints of all of my Inktober pieces at the end of the month and then maybe sell a hundred prints of each piece and just sell them all as a set. Would anyone be interested in that maybe? I don't really sell a lot of my work, so when I do I usually have limited runs of it, but I also need to plan stuff for Christmas. Oh, speaking of plans, I do have a small plan in place for something I would like to release at some point next year. That's all I'm gonna say, but let this video theme be a spoiler for you. So the thing about ink, and Jake said this in his class too, there's literally no going back if you mess up and that's personally what I hate about it. I am such a perfectionist with my art and not being able to fix things gets to me a lot. Like I just want to scrap stuff if it doesn't look good because I can't fix it but I can't so. And I forgot I didn't do swatches of those pens so here's the swatches for them. They were actually different to what I expected. They're thin markers not thicker ones like Copics or Copics whatever that word is. So that's cool. Do they blend? Eh no not really but that's okay. Probably won't use them for that reason anyway so uh, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to use any colours in my Inktober pieces this time, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, okay, so back to the bear. Uh, mm, he's supposed to look a bit timid and unsure of what the inflatable ring is doing there, but I'm not really sure if that's what I did. I'm trying not to be too harsh on myself, even though I see flaws. Flaws that I cannot fix and it's annoying, but that's fine. I can't fix them. That's just how he looks. So uh, yeah, this is how it turned out. What do you think? I I have a lot of practice to do, but I'm really hoping if I do stick to Inktober this year, I'm gonna improve somewhat with ink because I generally do wanna get better at using ink. It's just not, it's probably my least favorite medium to use. So uh, yeah, not sure not sure. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this art box. Do you think it was a good value of money? Would you try it out next year? Did you already have it this year? Um, and I have a question. If you could see anything in an art box, what would you like to see in it? I'm just curious. Um, but yes, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I said that already, but that's fine. Take care of yourselves. Have a happy Inktober. Don't get too stressed over it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.